first we're going to talk about motion because that is our unit title motion what exactly is motion right motion is the act the act the action the the physical thing that you're doing the act of moving so you move from one place to another place the act of moving that is motion okay Speed. Now, when we talk about motion, we can talk about different uh, ways to move, right? Movement can be fast, it can be slow, okay? It can have lots of different directions, right? There can be different reasons for motion, but right now we're talking about speed. Speed is how fast something moves. So, like I said, something can move fast or it can move slow, right? Speed, when we talk about fast or slow, we're talking about what is the speed of the object, whatever is moving. Something is moving, what is the speed of that object? How fast is it moving? If we see a car, wow, that looks like it's moving very fast, right? It's moving very fast, it's hard to see it, right? Because it's moving so quickly. It has a lot of speed, it has a lot of speed. Now when we talk about motion, if an object, if one thing is going to move from here, it's going to move there, there has to be some force pushing it. Force is power, right? Power. I'm using my power of my arm to move this from here to there. I'm using force. I don't have to use a lot of force. It's a very light pen. But if you want to move heavy objects, you need a lot of force. You need a lot of power. Power that produces a change in a movement. And it's interesting to notice that. A change in a movement. So remember, movement isn't just stop, move, stop. Movement can also be in one direction. And if something is already moving, something is already moving, and a power of force changes that motion, changes the direction, that is also a power or force that makes something change direction. A push or a pull is a force. So we have a push or a pull. Two types of forces. A push, we'll talk about these of course later, but a push or a pull are the two types of forces that act upon objects. It makes those objects move. We are either pushing them or we're pulling them. We'll talk about these words later. Let's take a look at the video though. We're taking a look at a crane. This is a crane and you can see at the top of the crane up here you see this uh, part is moving and that's the part that holds the steel beam they're building a building here and this part they need that part in a certain place on the building so the crane will move it this way, right? It'll pull it towards the crane. It will push it out away from the crane. But you know what? This can also pull up and down. So they can make these cables. They can pull the object up or they can let it go down and they can move it up and down. So a crane, of course, they can move things away. They can pull things close, but they can also lift things and drop things. So they can move objects around where they need it on this building. So that's a good uh, example of the forces that you use to make something move, to put something into motion. Now, a very important force, gravity <coughs> is a force, right? Gravity is a force, that's what it says right here. It's a type of force, a type a type of force. So we talked about forces, right? Force is the power to move something. Gravity is a very important force that pulls things to the ground, right? You see this boy, wow, he's very interesting. He's diving into the water. Hopefully there's water down here, but he's going down, right? This arrow is pointing down because gravity pulls things to the ground. Let's take a look at that. Now all these kids here are lined up. They're all lined up on the edge of the pool. They are going to jump into the pool. Gravity is the force that pulls them down. There they go. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're all going in a line. Okay, they're having fun. But basically, gravity is the force that pulls people. Oh, he missed out. 
He's like, well, what happened? <laughs> okay, jump in. Okay, so he takes, uh, he jumps in the air, gravity pulls him down. Gravity is very important. Of obviously, gravity is the force that's keeping us all on the ground. If we didn't have gravity, we would all float up into the air, right? So gravity is a force or a power that is always there. It's always pulling us to the earth and it's keeping us on the ground. Without gravity, we would just float off, right? That would be very, very dangerous and very strange. So we need gravity. Gravity is something that's very important, obviously, in our lives. Now, we've talked about pull a little bit, right? I said gravity pulls uh, us to the ground. We also talked about pull and push are the two major forces. Here we have pull. Pull is a force that moves things closer to you, close, nearby, yuppie, right? Closer to you. So if I take this pen and I pull it to me, I'm bringing the pen closer to me. Now, it's interesting, when we, when we uh, pull something with us, right, we can pull it close to us and it stops. But if we keep moving, right, and we keep pulling, that's the way that we can bring something from here to over there. We pull it along with us. Let's take a look at a video of that. See, this man, he's got his two children here, and he's pulling them in the snow. Looks like fun, right? So basically, he's pulling them, but he keeps walking, right? So although he keeps pulling them closer, he keeps moving away, so it's a constant action. And he's pulling these kids across the snow. So pulling something across the snow, he's pulling them towards him, but he doesn't pull and stop, he keeps moving. So he's pulling them from one place to another. And of course, you could also say, you know, pull, stop, that's okay too. But if you want to move something from one place to a faraway place, well, sure, you can pull it along with you. Pull it along behind you. Okay, now, pull is one of the forces that's bringing something closer to you. The opposite, pandero, the opposite force of pull is push. Push is a force that moves things away from you. So before we saw pull, closer to you, push is away from you. You're pushing something away. So it's another force that you use to push away from you. This girl is helping these two boys on their skateboard, right? They're on a skateboard here, a skateboard. And the girl is pushing them away from her. Let's take a look at a video of this. Now this is a very common scene, right? You have a swing set. This is a swing, a swing set, right? This boy is on a swing. Mom and dad are doing what? They are pushing their children away, <laughs> pushing them away. Of course, gravity is a force that pulls them back down. So there's two forces we can see in this video. One is push away from human beings. The other force from gravity from the earth is pulling them back down to the ground. And so we have forces, we have two forces. One is pushing away, the other force is pulling back. The one that's pushing away is made by people. People are uh, making that force and the other force is made by the earth, that's gravity, pulls it back. So we have the constant motion back and forth. We're actually looking at two forces in this video. There are two forces. Okay, now when we talk about motion, we can talk about the direction, direction, direction of something. Oops, direction, that's supposed to be a C, okay? Direction. So we talk about the direction of the motion. Which way is it going? Which way is that object going? That is the direction. Now, something can go in a straight direction. Straight means not bent. But another way to say that is that there's no change in direction. It starts here, A, starts at point A, and finishes at point B, and it goes directly from A to B. There's no change in direction. It's a straight shot, a straight line. There's no change in direction. It goes directly from point A to point B, not bent. Bent would be like, you know, this. That's bent, 
okay? That would be bent. There's no bend, it's straight. Straight line, not bent. There's no bend in the direction. The direction stays the same the whole time. There's no change in direction. The direction stays the same. It is going straight. That's the direction. Now, of course, we can talk about straight is not bent. Curve is like a bent, curved, curved. Curved means not straight, okay? So we had like opposites, right? Straight means not bent. Curved means not straight. So curved, of course, means bent, okay? And forming a curve. You see this train, now here is point A, here is point B, right? It's not a straight line. A straight line would be like this. That's a straight line. But this is not a straight line. This is a curve, right? It's curving around. It's bent. The train tracks are bent. It's forming a curve. So we can say it's a curve or it is curved. Curved is adjective. Curve without D, that's a noun. So we say there's a curve in the tracks. Go around the curve, that's a noun. If we say the tracks are curved, that's an adjective, okay? So curved means not straight and forming a curve. That's our noun right there, okay. Lesson 14, motion. Motion. Motion is the act of moving. Speed. Speed is how fast something moves. Force. A power that produces a change in a movement. A push or a pull is a force. Gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls things to the ground. Pull. Pull is a force that moves things closer to you. Push. Push is a force that moves things away from you. Straight. Straight means not bent. Curved. Curved means not straight and forming a curve.